او هیچ نوع اثرانوسیسوس بخنسوس انسا آفنم فو انتوف توف نمشا ان خنوهی پاستیس نو آتناشت مف تنتی آنف و آرانتی Tekerini semnen anin, tekerini kanin, novin anin, vol gore vol enigajin se eti eklisaya arisopteros eneskim shaene emmeno ilbeno Good morning, everyone. My name is Stephanie Habib, and with me is Benjamin Ibrahim. We are the captains of this school. We are blessed to be here today to be in the presence of His Holiness Pope Tuadros II, Patriarch of Alexandria and See of St. Mark. We ask Your Holiness to bless our school, our students, and our staff. We also continue to pray for His Holiness and the prosperity of the Church and ask that you keep us in your prayers. We also welcome to St. Mary's visiting bishops and members of the Papal Delegation. His Grace Bishop Daniel, Bishop of Maidi, Cairo, Egypt. His Grace Bishop Hermina, General Bishop of Ain Shams, Cairo, Egypt. His Grace Bishop Daniel, Bishop of Sydney and its affiliated regions. His Grace Bishop Daniel, Bishop and Abbot of St. Shenouda Monastery, Sydney. Father Angelos Ishak and Father Amonius Haidel, Papal Secretaries, Deacon Wagiz Sobhi, and Media Officer, Ms. Irini Wagdi. We are now honoured to introduce our beloved Melbourne Bishop, His Grace Bishop Dr. Amber Soriel, Bishop of Melbourne and its affiliated regions, who continues to guide us each and every day. Your Holiness Pope Tawadros II, Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark, Your Graces, Reverend Fathers, Distinguished Guests, Board of Governors, Leadership Staff and Students of St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox College. On behalf of the whole college community, I would like to warmly welcome His Holiness Pope Tawadros II to his first visit as Pope and Patriarch to St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox College. The college was blessed to host His Holiness in 2012 during a short visit to Melbourne as General Bishop. And today we welcome Your Holiness on your first visit as Pope and Patriarch today as we celebrate the Feast of the Nehru's, the beginning of the new Coptic year the year 1734 of the Martyrs. I also warmly welcome their graces, the bishops, who have also blessed us today, as well as all of the members of the papal delegation. St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox College prides itself with being the first Coptic Orthodox College established in the lands of immigration. His Holiness Pope Shenouda III of blessed memory opened the college 26 years ago in February 1991 in Clifton Hill. This was the time that I was preparing to leave Australia to go to St. Bishoy Monastery to begin my monastic life. And he visited the college again in 1993 
1995, and again during his last visit in 2002. It was truly a blessed experience, and we are so fortunate to again experience the pastoral care of the Papal See of St. Mark and all our beloved visiting bishops. We are truly indebted to your holiness for all the love and care you show to all your sheep, never forgetting your flock in the lands of immigration. The college was founded by the very Reverend Father Tadros Sharubim, who remained its director for 25 years. It was through the vision and leadership of Father Tadros that the college evolved from a humble primary school with 51 pupils to a prep to year 12 college catering for over 800 students today. This is truly a remarkable transformation, and we are especially indebted to the tireless work of Father Tadros in laying the building blocks. <laughs> in laying the building blocks of our beloved college. Our college currently operates under the guidance of its chaplain, Father Angelos Rafael, and its acting principal, Susan Pitzes, and a wonderful team of dedicated teachers and supporting staff who are doing an outstanding job in caring for both the students' academic and spiritual needs. From its first year, 12 class graduating in 1999 was actually one of the first duties that I had upon arriving to Melbourne was attending the graduation of the first four students from year 12 in December of that year. Our college has seen 18 years of successful VCE graduates. Our graduates have excelled in many higher education disciplines, including the faculties of arts and education, business and law, engineering, health, and the sciences. Academic excellence, albeit an important aim of the college, is not the only nor the most significant focus. Developing spiritual nourishment of our students by fostering and developing an awareness of our Lord Jesus Christ and his teachings is the most important objective of our college. Our aim is to produce citizens who are inspired by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ and motivated to commit themselves to the service of others. The college motto is from the book of Proverbs Chapter 10, verse 17, he who keeps instruction is in the way of life. The true way of life being through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the path on which our college seeks to set all its students and graduates. This motto encapsulates the vision of the college in raising God-fearing practicing Christians who can discern the narrow path in a world that is constantly pulling them in all directions. In these times, we know now more than ever how important it is for our children and youth to be set firmly in the faith and to be able to give an unwavering defense of their orthodox beliefs. It is important to raise our graduates to be strong Christians who will go out into the world and spread the word of God in whatever avenue they pursue, whether they become working professionals, academics, or even members of clergy. Coptic schools have always had an important place in the church. We can trace Coptic schools in the modern period to 1853, when Pope Cyril IV established the Great Coptic School located next to the Patriarchal Cathedral of St. Mark in the Azbakeya district of Cairo. 
This was the first Coptic school to function on sound pedagogical lines. It employed both local and foreign teachers and taught European languages alongside Arabic and Coptic. One of its graduates was Saint Habib Gerges, the great educational reformer of the Coptic Church who established the Sunday School movement in the church and was dean of the theological college in Cairo for 33 years. Saint Habib Gerges dedicated his whole life to education and famously said that education is the first need for the community after bread. The legacy of Saint Habib Gerges certainly lives in this college and I'm always joyful to see the graduates of this college serving in many ministries in the church and completing theological studies at St. Athanasius College. A large proportion of our students at St. Athanasius Theological College are graduates of St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox College. In fact, the college here, Johannes, sponsors five of its graduates to come and study at our theological college. It brings me great joy to see the fruits of the college take on such studies to deepen their understanding of Orthodox Christianity and spirituality, helping them grow in their faith as they prepare for diverse fields of service and ministry. Today marks a historic occasion in the life of our college. Your Holiness, we are truly thankful for blessing our college and being with us on the Feast of the Nehruz. With Your Holiness's prayers and through the intercession of the patron saint of the college, the Holy Theotokos Saint Mary, we can be assured that Saint Mary's Coptic College will continue to grow from strength to strength producing God-fearing Christians, successful members of the community, and strong advocates of the Orthodox faith. We pray that this be the first of many visits to our college, and we ask your holiness to keep praying for us and the continual success of the college so that our Lord may always use its graduates as vessels to serve his holy name. Thank you very much for this blessing today. We would like to ask Sayedna Ambusiriel to present His Holiness with a gift from the college. We would like to, we will now like to call upon five primary students to present their um, visiting bishops with gifts. Jamie Aziz from year five. Christopher Hanna from year two.
Mark Hakim from Year 3. Rina Kaldas from Year 5. And now we'd like to present presents to the priests. Lilia Hanna for Father Angelos. Father Amonio Heidel, Peter Maddie, Year 12. And for Deacon Wagi Sophie, Dory Will, Year 7. For Miss Irini Wagdi, Stephanie Yuil, Year 12. We would like to thank Mother Veronica from Archangel Michael Monastery, Melbourne, for her beautiful paintings of the icons. We are so honored to introduce the leader of the Coptic Orthodox Church, our shepherd and beloved father, His Holiness Pope Tawadros II, Patriarch of Alexandria and the See of St. Mark. Good morning. Sabah al khair. Uh, I am very happy and it is it's my pleasure to be with you this special day. This is the feast of Nairuz, of the martyrs of the new Coptic year. We say in old Egyptian language, in Coptic language, we say Nofri Shai. Can you say with me? Nofri Shai. Nofri Shai. Happy feast. Nofri Shai. Happy feast. Thank you so much to be with you today. Thank you to His Grace Bishop Suriel, Bishop of Melbourne and affiliated uh, regions. I am so happy because I was here in the, this school from five years for a very short visit. And I was very embraced by the school here in Melbourne. I know that the building of churches is equal to the building to schools. Churches for spiritual rule and the schools for knowledge and the building your personalities. In the school, we, you build your person, personality, you build your mind, you build your friendship, you build your life and social life. Therefore, I know that the school is very, very important. In Egypt, also, we build a new schools for some students like you in some places, some villages, some uh, cities or town. And the school is very important in the life of any Christian. I saw all of you 
like a small trees or small flowers. And during day by day and year by year, you will be big tree and you will graduate it from this school to be very useful in your society. I am so happy for all efforts to be done here in your school. From Father Tedros Sharubim, firstly, now from Father Angelos, and from the leadership staff and the education, educational staff here, all teachers, all teachers here, all administrative team. I am so happy to see big school like your school here in Melbourne. Uh, when you graduated and when you, uh, with your family, to visit Egypt, you will find Egypt is a big country, but not big like Australia. Egypt is very old country, but not old, because Australia is new. We call the Egypt mother of the whole world. And we call Australia huh? sister to Egypt, smallest sister or younger sister to Egypt. I am happy to be with you and to see all of you here. And when you visit Egypt, I would like to see you in many places, in our monasteries, in our churches, in our major projects. We have in Egypt very ancient places, like pyramids. You know pyramids? Pyramids. You can draw pyramids with B in the air, the big pyramids, the middle, and the smallest. Again, the big one, the, sm the middle, the smallest. And also we have very long river. Nile, Nile, you can draw the Nile in Egypt. This river is one, but at Cairo is divided into two branches. We can draw from Aswan in the south of Egypt, one river, one river, then divided into two branches till to the Mediterranean Sea at Rosetta, Rashid, and Domiata, Domiat, city, city of Domiat. We have a new big library in Alexandria, called Alexandrina Library, very big one. But this library, when you visit us in Egypt, in Alexandria, you will find this very wonderful building, like a sun. Sun, and this sun very circle in its shape, and this sun faces to the Mediterranean Sea. I hope when you visit Egypt to visit this uh, uh, library, the most famous library in the world. There are, um, are many places to visit when you come to Egypt. Thank you so much. Thank you to Your Grace Bishop Suriel, to all. And uh, may God bless of you, all of you, and no free shy. Again? Again? Happy feast. Happy Nairuz feast. Thank you. Thank you, Pope Tawadros. His Holiness will now shake hands with every student and staff member. Uh, first, we'd like to take a whole school photo. Please stay in your seats.
Thank you. Can you be quiet? Thank you. Quiet. Okay, may I ask you all to be quiet, thank you. Shh, quiet. Thank you. Quiet. Thank you. 
Can you come here, please? No, not even. Stand up in front. Not even you can. You cannot be talking there and look at me. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yes. Susan, come here. Susan, you have to be seated. Do you want to seat? No, no. Oh, so Abuna, can you please go with them? All right. If That's for Ed. Okay, could I have everybody's attention, please? You're doing very, very well. Everyone's doing very, very well. Lovely it is to get together in love, our Lord teaches us. When to meet in my name together, I'll always be in between together. O oh Lord, come now and join us here. We ask you to come and give us cheer. Fill us with a joy from your Holy Spirit and peace, no riches can provide, O oh Lord, come now and join us here. We ask you to come and give us cheer. Fill us with joy from your Holy Spirit and peace, no riches can provide. The Lord is here, always with us. How lovely He is, how content we are. We talk to Him and He always listens. He'll always be with us in us. O oh Lord, come now and join us here. We ask you to come and give us cheer. Fill us with joy from your Holy Spirit and peace no riches can provide.
All right. Good morning, everyone. All right. There's too much noise. You've been very good during the liturgy this morning. You just need to sit quietly for just a few more minutes, please. All right. Can the Syrian choir come forward, please? Okay, so where are you? Yes, they're coming down now. All right. So while you're waiting patiently to shake hands with His Holiness, the Syriac Choir will perform and the Arabic choir will follow. We will have the deacons first lining up, please. The primary deacons first. As soon as you shake hands, then you make your way out, please. One row. One line, please. All right.
شليح قاديشه هالق نوه دم شيحه هو نصح ضخرونه من سوف لسوف دارعه صلح شورا Kelos aki sharonem fofi e tayotem akareios fapi eref mevi en kelos penyoteto abavata adros. Ten shebe mo ten tot femef noti en etirini en tek me choice opi man eso u en my noti pen yo te thoe ba ba ta wadros khen eb jin et af inan e خون انجی پیش نوفی ان کلوس ان سپک جن ایشارون پنیوت تا ودروس آبی راشی ماه ننید ام نن بسیشی خ نب چویس او آنتی او او انف میشنید هنیوت تو با و تو درس Mary, did you know that you paid for they walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that 
that your baby boy has come to make you this child that you've delivered will soon deliver you did you know that your baby boy Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the soul with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked through when you've kissed your little baby, you kiss the face of God. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect land? This sleeping child you're holding is the great I. Thank you, Grace Ibrahim from Year 6, who sang so beautifully. Students, if you're sitting at the back, can you be quiet, please? If I cannot see my Je <laughs> Pen yot et Pater, Pater, on Archi Episcopo, Pimen, Pimen, on Penyot, Ethoel. 
كما سمع في وقت صلب يا شمع في وسط ظلمة ليل وقتها يا صال كل الشعب وسلمك العصايا شيل كما سمع في وقت صلب على الأكتف شايلنا إليك وبتحب القطاك أباك وزي ما سبت عينك فيك هنفضل برضو بنحبك هنفضل برضو بنحبك هنفضل برضو بنحبك Pito the Opa Ateros Keicharesto Monoge Enos Eyo Ki Eyo Dekefe
Hey. 
Ah. Uh. 
What the Egyptian, Egyptian society, what they do there? Fuck. 